What's up, it's the Canadian Fisher here, or Nick from Vlogs here. In today's video, we're doing another interview video. Uh, just leave me a comment below if you're enjoying my fishing videos on my Canadian Fisher YouTube channel. Uh, today we'll be interviewing a, a good friend of mine. Uh, he has about 700 something subscribers on YouTube. His name's um, MB and Outdoors MB New Brunswick, and he has a great YouTube channel. And here's a picture of his YouTube channel in three, two, one. So that's his YouTube channel, um, and here's a couple of his videos that I included in this interview that I didn't include in the last interview. So here's a couple of his videos, two or three videos or four videos. So here they are. Deep, but it's not very wide, so we're going to be beating the shorelines, looking for some smallies. Uh, and towards the evening, obviously, as the white perch push up the bait fish, they're going to be chasing them and eating them. Um, so, of course, we're going to be targeting the white perch. So, you know, I don't really know what to expect. Um, so I'm just kind of up this little creek right here. And just going to, like I said, beat the bank, see if we can't uh, capitalize on some fish. So stick with us, stay tuned. We're here, and we're going to catch some fish. <laughs> the boys here. But the good thing about the top water in the morning is it allows you to cover a lot of water relatively quickly. Um, kind of like a swim bait or a fluke. Mm, little bass, a little bit of a buck bass. Little baby largy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, buddy. On a top water. Top water largy. Easy, buddy. I'm going to put you back. Don't you worry. Look at this guy. Cute little bugger. Thanks for playing. Thanks for showing up. Beautiful little largy. See ya. It allows me to cover a lot of water relatively quickly. Um, it's a good search and destroy bait. All I'm using is, I think it's like an eighth of an ounce jig head. And it's just a white paddle tail. Um, kind of looks like a Kytex swim bait. You know, something of that nature. So uh, th that's all the, the videos there. Uh, tell me in the comments below, please go subscribe to him. He's a great YouTuber. And he doesn't like fishing largemouth bass and stuff like that. And also, uh, go, this is my second interview for my fishing YouTube channel. With, uh, I interviewed the Master Pro Outdoors a long, a long ago when I first started my YouTube channel. But um, uh, this is one I did fishing with Damon last time. Now we're interviewing him. So we're going to give him a call. Enough talking. And uh, dot, dot, I have him on speed dial. So I got to redial him and see, see if he answers and put him on speaker. See if he answers. Here's the phone. Hello. Um, hello? Hello. How are you? Good, yourself. Good, how's your day going? Not too bad. Not too bad. Can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. Okay, are you ready for the interview questions? Yes. Yeah, my, my, me and my mom worked on it really hard, so. So, uh, uh, are you ready for the first one? Yes. Number one, what inspired you to be, like, get into fishing? Oh, I would say between my father yeah. and uh, both my grandfathers on both sides. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, you, were about, yeah. About, you were about my age when you started? Oh, but you, probably around four years old. Whoa, yeah, I think I was like seven or eight when I started. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a long yeah, time ago. Time to yeah, and you, I taught myself. Hello? Say that again, sir? I'm sorry you cut out. Uh, I taught myself. Oh, nice. Yes. Are you ready for number two? I'm trying to be quick. I'm trying to be quick because I don't want my video to be too long. You know what I mean? Oh, for sure. Okay, number two. What inspired you to make fishing videos on YouTube or fishing videos in general? Well, since I've been fishing for, you know, an extremely long period of time. Yes. Yes. Media productions and stuff. So I, I always enjoyed that. So I said, hey, why not do it? And somebody can learn something. 
Yes. Or help themselves along the way. Yes. Okay, yes. I kind of got into video when I was in high school too, but I did have a fishing channel back then. I had more like a vlogging channel, my Nick Filming Vlogs YouTube channel, so I did get into yeah. fishing videos right away until I saw Master Crow Outdoors, my friend. I don't know if you heard of him. I saw him, so he kind of inspired me to make fishing videos, and also, I don't know if you ever heard of Run, Run Rod Run Real Fishing. Uh, he inspired me too. Yeah, they got some pretty good videos. Yeah. Are you ready for the next one? Yes, sir. Okay, number three. Uh, uh, what is your favorite type of fishing? Like, Do you like uh, bait fishing, uh, fly fishing, ice fishing, or anything like that? I would honestly have to say probably... It's a hard one, I know. Yes. Um, but just, uh, there's just something about a fly rod in your hand, peacefulness of the water, running in between your legs while you're watching the sun come up, standing in the river. Oh, that's pretty cool. I never tried it, but I heard it's fun. But I, I oh, would, I would get, have trouble moving my arms all the time and getting used to, to the like, technique to it. So I never bothered trying it. Yeah. Uh, are you ready for the next one? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, number four. Um, if you had a chance to fish anywhere in Canada, where where would it be? Like, it doesn't have to be in New Brunswick either. Even though probably you only fished in New Brunswick, I don't know. Uh, well, I fished pretty well everywhere in the land Canada. Yes. Um, I fished in Alberta many many years ago, but I would have to say BC. BC. Is it good fishing there? Um, from what I can tell it is. Yeah. You yourself know some days you can go out and catch stuff and next day you go out and you catch nothing. Like, like anywhere. Fishing, yeah, like anywhere. It's not, I'd say a little joke. It's, that's why they call it fishing, not chopping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, um, if I had a choice where I want to go fishing, I would pick Ontario. Like, go to the Great Lakes and fish the Great Lakes and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah walleye and bass and stuff, eh? Yeah, there is. And I like the jumbo perch there, too. The old yeah, perch. Jumbo perch, yeah. Yeah. But I did see a couple of your videos last year. Uh, you fished in Quebec a couple of times for lake trout. Yeah. Yeah, I was up there for work and hauled my boat up. And yes. We stayed, we were staying in the hotel right on the, right on the lake. That's pretty cool. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, are you ready for the next one? Yes, sir. Okay, number five. I say number five, so when I'm editing, um, I know where to put the text. I put text in the, yes. in the video. So number five, oh, okay. what is your favorite species of fish to catch? Like, there's a lot. That's a hard oh, one. I know. I know. There's so many. Yeah. Uh, Yes. And trout and salmon? Like brook trout or sea yeah. trout or rainbow? Uh, rainbow, brook trout. Yeah. Either or, it doesn't matter, yeah. I, I know uh, rainbow trout is uh, like in Crooked Creek in New Brunswick as well and stuff like that. I never fished there though, yeah. Yeah, that's good. They got some real nice rainbows down there. They do? Creek. I heard. Yeah, but for me, I think it will be, uh, I started out brook trout fishing, I don't know about you, but uh, mine would be like smallmouth, largemouth bass, but I like the action. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they, they definitely, they definitely fight. Yeah. Sure. Are you ready for the next one? Yes, sir. I gotta say something first. If you hear barking in, uh, in the background, it's just my mom's dog, so don't worry about it. My mom has oh, dogs. No, no problem. Yeah, so, uh, uh, number six, I said five already, right? Yeah. Number six is, what is your favorite type of lures? Like, top water lures, uh, tubes, or, uh, that's a hard one. Mm, I'll give you two answers. If it's fly fishing, okay. it's going to be dry fly. Yeah. If it's spin rod or casting, 
I yeah. would go with either Top Water or Senko. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, okay, isn't the Senko, uh, hopefully I'm saying that right, is it like a worm on a hook? Like a fake worm? Yeah, it's just a, yeah, it's just a rubber, rubber worm. Uh, rigged up whether you want to bring it wacky yes. style or yes. rigged. I, I, thought you would, I thought you would say tubes because that's my favorite for tubes for smallmouth bass and all that. Yeah, tubes are fun. Um, I don't fish with them as much as... No. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are you ready for the next one? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, number seven. Um, do you prefer fishing from land or boat? I know you have a boat, but... Mm, depends what you're fishing. Say, depending on what I'm going for, yeah. I would have to say a boat. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. If I'm fishing, then it'd be land for sure. Yes. Fishing. Or have waders and go in the water. Yes, that's correct. Yes, because I would rather boat too, but if it's ice fishing, of course, you'll be on ice. But if it's fly fishing, I never tried. But uh, if I'm going after for trout, like river near me right now, where I am at, um, I would fish from the bank, but most people fish right in the river. It's called the Petticodiac River. Yep. Yeah. Are you ready? Where? Huh? What? I said I got some nice trout in there too. Yeah, the sea trout run every spring. Yeah. So are we ready for the next one? Yes, sir. Okay, we're almost done. After number eight, uh, we got two more left. Uh, d do you have any fish stories you want to share? That, like, if you have funny stories or any fish you lost or anything like that? Yes. From this year. Yes. Um, uh, it doesn't involve a fish, but we, I had a good friend of mine come up from Nova Scotia to fish with me for some striped bass on the sheet. Yes. And we were trolling through a bunch of boats as it gets crowded sometimes. Yes. So we were trolling through one and we hooked another boat, so I figured oh, it was a big mess. Of that's dangerous. Big knots and everything, right? Yes. Yes. Just the hooks that hook each other. No one oh. fouled up, nothing. Just, just the hooks. Yes. So it was pretty easy, painless. We laughed about it. Yes. And yeah, it was pretty, I thought it was pretty interesting. Oh, okay, that's a great yeah. story. Hello? That's, well, that was a great story. Yeah. Yeah. First story I heard for a long time. Okay, uh, uh, are you ready for the next one? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, number nine. We got one more after this. Uh, do you, do you fish another, like, with alone or with friends? Probably when you're fishing tournaments, you fish with other people, right? Um, yeah, I haven't really fished too many tournaments. Can uh, you repeat that? Because, uh, okay. you, you glitched out. Yes. And then with some uh, yeah, mainly this summer I fished with friends. Like you see my videos. I don't know if you've been catching up yeah. on them. Oh, I have. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've been fishing with my friends, and uh, I know the last. This is my second interview of this year with a YouTuber. But the last interview I did, I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, his name's YouTube name Fishing with Damon. Ever heard of that YouTuber? Yes, sir. And I interviewed him last time. I was yeah. home. You watched it? Yes, sir. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, are you ready for the last one? Yes, sir. Okay, this one's a good one. Number 10, Um, what is your favorite, like, what is your, your plan for the future? Like, if um, you're going to, like, for your YouTube channel or fishing in general? Um, probably more exploring new waters. Yeah. Yes. Out of my comfort zone. Yes. That's like me too. Yeah. Yeah. 
for me, I like fishing, but I try a lot of new spots. Not new, but I never fished for, for a long time. I know, I don't know if you've seen the Coles Island video in the Canyon River. Uh, I never fished that since I was very young, and I wanted to fish that again, so I did. Yes, but you gotta know where to go. you gotta know where to go, and you have to uh, check like uh, move a lot. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, right. thank you for this. Yeah, this probably will be on YouTube either, not this weekend, but next weekend, because uh, I already have a video planned for this weekend, so it should be on, uh, uh, next weekend, two weeks from now. No problem, sir. They were good questions? They are very good questions. Thank you. And I say this right on, right now before I hang up, go check out uh, MD, MBN Outdoors MB's YouTube channel. It will be down in the description below. Yeah. Oh, come. So I'm going to let you go so you can get back to work. Okay. Bye. Bye. So that was a great interview. Hopefully it's better. I, I'm, hopefully it's better because um, uh, I'm trying to be closer to the mic so the audio of everything would be perfect because my last interview I did, the audio, the phone audio was lower than, um, um, what should I say, than, um, uh, my voice, so hopefully it's better. If not, it's okay. It's a quote the phone, not me. So I'm in it off now. So like, comment, uh, follow me on Twitter if you want to see more videos like this. All my social media is really down in the description below, like always. Subscribe to me for no like subscribe to me for more content and don't forget to put the notifications on by clicking that bell with my name. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this is not a too long too long of a video. So you old pal, the Canadian Fisher or Nick Fleming Vlogs out. See you guys next time and catch you guys in the next video.